It was a big day for Bitcoin and Ether after the SEC said both cryptocurrencies are not securities. For more on what this means, let's get to Bob Bassani at the New York Stock Exchange for the details. Hey, Bob. Hello, Melissa. The SEC has been under mounting pressure to clarify if and under what circumstances cryptocurrencies and ICOs were securities and thus under the regulatory control of the SEC. Now, today, they went a long way toward providing clarity. Bill Hinman, the man in charge of developing the SEC's policy toward cryptocurrencies, said neither Bitcoin nor Ether were securities because they don't fit the definition of a security. An investment created if you are raising money from a centralized source for a project that people are investing in with the expectation of a profit. Now, regarding ICO... These are complex facts and circumstances tests, but when we look at Bitcoin or if we look at Ether and the highly decentralized nature of the networks, we don't see a third-party promoter where applying the disclosure regime would make a lot of sense. So we're, we're comfortable uh, in some uh, sort of viewing these as uh, items that don't have to be regulated as securities. Now, regarding ICOs or initial coin offerings, Hinman said the SEC would apply the same test. And while many ICOs are clearly designed to make a profit, others, he said, are not. People are buying it for investment and for a return and looking to that party for a return, then again, that's an indicia of a security. If you have, on the other hand, a token that's just used in the network for a good or service, and that's why people are buying it, and that service is available and up and running, uh, not under development, then you may not have a security. Now, in our interviews, Hinman specifically said that an ICO that was a simple membership, for example, in a golf club or a book club, was likely not a security. Finally, Hinman defended the SEC's strict application of the securities laws, saying many ICOs had misrepresented investment opportunities and that some were outright, outright frauds. Melissa, we have had the head of the SEC on, the head of trading, and now the chief policymaker on Bitcoin. The SEC is clearly moving to clarify exactly what their positions are. A lot has happened in just the past couple of weeks. Bob, thank you. Bob Bassani okay. at the New York Stock Exchange. Going back to, I don't know where you want to start because there's so many things that are very important about what the SEC said yeah. today that clears the way for, let's say, Ether, right, right to have futures. So that's instance. what we, you know, the CBOE at the same conference said uh, today that this clears one of the hurdles for them to have uh, futures on Ethereum. Think about it the other way. If you're an investment director at a pension fund or an endowment, over the last year you thought about allocating to this space, and now, and the first thing you say is, well, you know what, what if this thing is really an unregistered security? Well, I better not invest in it. Now that hurdle's gone. So this is really big news. It's a green light for cryptocurrency. It's a green light for crypto assets as an asset class. There's some clarity. I mean, how many times have I stood up at the smart board this year and said, what's hurting Bitcoin? What's hurting Ether? Regulatory, uh, regulatory and clarity. We have clarity now. It's very clear when these are securities, when they're commodities.